Try to convert other types of Meadowkin into your type. Take turns placing one piece on the board until the board is filled. Now players try to convert other Meadowkin. Each type can convert one other type through social pressure. Surround one with three or more of your type. That's social pressure. Then you can convert them to your type. But you can only convert one tile on your turn, so choose carefully. Or refuse to convert any tile on your turn. For example, nuns can convert any one of the vulnerable tons. We show these in red here. Vulnerable tons are next to three or more nuns. A player can only convert one tile, though, on their turn. Here the nun player chooses a ton tile to convert. Nun player's turn is over. One player's turn is next, then ton player. Continue in this manner until no one can or will convert any more. Then whoever has the most pieces wins. In this example, nobody can convert except Tun, and Tun has the most pieces. So Tun wins if Tun quits now. But if Tun had continued to convert, then the Tuns are vulnerable. The Nun player could then take over the whole board. So the Tun player should have stopped converting at this point. No Tuns are next to three or more Nuns. You see, there's an enemy of my enemy is my friend effect here that makes the game lots of fun. Tun could convert all the ones, but should avoid this one. This one is Tun's friend. It's protecting Tun against conversion by the nuns. This game also has a two-player and a four-player version, which uses four types of pieces. The rulebook explains these multiplayer options and a version where you use shields. In the version of the game with shielding, each player can protect one of their pieces on every turn with a mushroom shield. See the rulebook to learn more and to access our online simulation of the game.